since I was a kid I've always kept birds of prey from when I was about 10 and always had an interest in wildlife and going out bird watching and stuff yeah. I had a kestrel passed to my mother for, for years almost. I wanted a kestrel after I'd seen the film Kez. Uh, took him out flying, had him for about two years. And then it's, uh, I picked up a, a, an infection and it died. Just couldn't bring myself to, to bury it or chuck it in the bin. So it's, uh, I hung on to it for as long as I could till it, till we couldn't bear the smell any longer. Then it, it eventually did have to be buried. I think that spot there, the initial interest in possibly looking at preserving it or keeping hold of it a bit longer. I've got an older brother that he's, he's sort of vaguely interested in wildlife but other than that there's nobody that's really got any as much sort of interest as me in, in the wildlife and that sort of thing. I was always out in the countryside as much as I possibly could. I tell her about my wife, she's she's always had horses. I remember bumping into her up the up the commons one day we've been out uh, we bumped into these girls on horses and that's <laughs> sort of struck up a friendship straight away. She's a nurse. Uh, yeah, she can go out and sort of stitch people up and administer drips and put uh, catheters into people and that sort of thing which I couldn't clean up sick and vomit and that doesn't bother her one bit whereas I couldn't do that but, and then she, but she can't come up here and handle her dead skin yeah most people sort of misconception is that it's you sort of rip the guts out and then stuff it stuff some inside it which is the opposite of what we do actually once I've ascertained that they've it's been legally acquired and I'm quite happy that it's nothing's nothing under hand's gone on. Uh, carefully remove the skin from the, the carcass and then carve or recreate a mannequin. And then it's a matter of uh, modelling it back up, putting it over a mannequin and start working it back into, into shape. I think the actual art of taxidermy comes into being able to, to actually put some life back into the specimen. So it doesn't just look like a, a stuffed animal, it looks it looks like as lifelike as we can get it.